Hey, how you guys doing, man? It's Joe D. And welcome to uh, Share Beer Show 423. Uh, today, oh, we do the show, for those that don't know, we do this show every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. And then we also have a Friday Share Beer that we do at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. So uh, hopefully one of those two time slots will f will work for you and you can join us Uh <coughs> The Friday show, I have a beer. I'm able to, to have a beer. Uh, the main show on on Tuesdays, I'm not able to have any beer. I have to have water uh, because I drive a truck for a living and I go to work uh, right after the show. <laughs> so. Well, the good thing is beer is like 98% water anyway. So you're all, you're 98% of the way there, right? I'm I'm almost there anyway. So yeah. I'm 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 in the spirit of okay. the. Uh, it, you know how, uh, what. I, I think we had discussed that at one time. What what was the show that I stopped drinking on? I forget, but uh, I, I think we had that discussion before. Where did, and yeah. I I might have wrote it down somewhere. Where did I write it? I'm pretty sure I wrote it down somewhere too. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope, hmm. it wasn't there. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Nope, wasn't there. Sorry. No, nope, I didn't write it down there, but I know I wrote it down somewhere. But anyway, uh, what do you have in a day, Mark? Well, I've got a, th a string of 16 ounces. I'm working on a PBR, 16 ounce, and um, typical PBR look. Although, <laughs> yeah. you know, I've I've had this beer numerous times and I've checked in numerous times and untapped and I've I gave it like a two seven five like a couple years ago mm -hmm. I bumped it up to a three point two five just because in the fizzy yellow water category that this beer falls into this is one of the best ones it really is it's yeah, not yeah. sweet it's got good flavor but it's not like rice or corn you know it doesn't have that sweetness yeah. to it it's got a little bit of sweetness but not overly sweet it's crisp. It's affordable. I mean, I got a six pack, a sixteen ounce for five fifty or something like that. Yeah. So, I uh, recently logged a PBR. I think now two weeks ago or so. I went to Applebee's, yeah, and had it on. They had it on draft. So I was like, "Hey, why not? I haven't had a PBR yeah. in a while. Why not on draft?" Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, it's, a, it's a, just a solid beer. I mean, I, um, I mean, I spent a lot of time in Colorado. Lived in Colorado, and Coors is good. That's the other one of the other beers I have tonight, but I think PBR is actually better. It's crisper. It's not as uh, it's not as sweet. But I I don't drink Bud anymore. It's just too sweet for me. Yeah, Bud is sweet. Uh, where was that? Uh, PBR is is good. And you know what's interesting? I I didn't notice until I got home, but um, I noticed this on the back of the cans. Project Pabst, be part of the dream. And I'm like, well, what the hell is that? So I went online, and it's actually a music festival that they're going to be doing. Uh, they're doing in uh, four cities. So it's like Philadelphia, Portland, somewhere else in Atlanta. And it's like in October, you know, somewhere in downtown Atlanta. So I thought that was pretty cool. There's like yeah. 15 bands. It starts at 1 in the afternoon, finishes at 9 at night or something. It's a music oh. festival. You know what? I guess I didn't. The only know. one I would go to, I didn't recognize any. Well, I recognize like three of the bands. But I never really listened to the music. The only person on the on the uh, schedule that I would really go to see is Iggy Pop. He's there, so I think oh, that would cool. be a fun that would be a fun thing to go see is to go see Iggy Pop. So I might just do it. It's on. It's actually the same day as GABF, Friday the Friday or Saturday the seventh of October. So. Oh I'm yeah, nice. and that's a good segue because speaking of GABF, we yeah. can. Uh, Public sale tickets go on, go tomorrow. Tomorrow is public sale. Is it tomorrow? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Uh, pre sale was today for members of uh, Home Brewers Association or the Brewers Association. I'm sure those are sold out already. <coughs> yeah, I want to make sure to show this. So uh, if you're yeah, interested in going to what is the biggest beer festival in this country, uh, yep. it's. It, See, and if she's there, I'm going. Yeah, yeah. See, now she looks very happy. It always, always helps to have you know attractive people on the front, and 
with hops on their head. Yeah, with <laughs> those are hops, but I believe they accept yeah. kisses. Well, maybe not. It's Colorado. I mean, it could be. It could be the close cousin of it hops. It could be the cousin of hops. Now, I wonder, uh, does that work the same? If you're standing under hops, do you get kisses? I don't know. That, it depends on who you are, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, they're October 5th through the 7th in Denver, Colorado, if you are interested. Uh, tickets do go on sale uh, tomorrow. Uh, for public. For the public, yeah. If you were uh, part of the, like Mark said, then, then it went on sale I, today. I might, I might actually sign in and see if I get tickets. And then if I do... Then I might go, but if I do and I can't go, then I'm sure I can sell them. <laughs> it won't be a oh, problem. Oh yeah, oh that won't. There's a limit of four tickets per session, per ticket yeah. buyer for general sessions. Okay, so here's 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 my promise. If I can get four tickets to a session, which session would you guys like to go to? If you can make it to Denver. Uh, I would. You, you you can exclude me. There's no way. Okay. <laughs> Probably. I don't know <laughs> if I can go anyway, but I would. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna try to buy four. If I get four, um, I don't know what I'll do. Pam will go, but she really can't drink beer, so I don't yeah. know what's going. Hmm. I have to look. Let me look at my schedule. I can bribe. I can bribe some people. I'm sure. October. Let me see. That's. That's the first weekend in October. First full week in October, I think. Yeah. Um, it's the seventh. Seventh is a Saturday, huh? Let's yeah. see. So I don't have. Let me see what I have going in September, uh, October so far. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna log on at 10 a.m. at what is that noon here? Yeah. Noon here tomorrow, and I'm gonna see if I can get tickets. I probably want. It's probably gonna sell out within like. Oh, it's. Minutes. It sells out. Yeah, within within seconds, within but, minutes. It's no. it's. It's so sold out. Let me see. Um, where all? Um, oh, oh, I have to check my. Let me see my football. I have to make sure. <laughs> check the football schedule. Huh? I have to. I have to. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, those are the game. Let me see. That game is uh on the first. Well, that doesn't. Yeah, there's no football for me. Uh, mm -hmm. on that on those dates. So. Okay. That that's clear. That I always have to check. Once yep. we start approaching football season, I always have to check. Now the Rams did send me because I didn't renew my Rams tickets. I oh, I, okay. I still have my uh, Cardinal tickets, mm -hmm. of course, but I didn't renew my Ram tickets. Uh oh, Damien said he's been a, a subscriber for five years. Oh, oh he saw, Oh, he says there's no sound. Huh? Is that is that a? Oh, he must be a subscriber to this show. I thought yeah. maybe he was talking about uh, JBF, but hey, Earth head coach. Yeah, we got head coach. We got Earth in there, and what is that, Alan? Alan Medina. Medina, funky Cole Medina. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many times he's heard that, huh? I wonder how many times he's heard that. Wait, <clears throat> let, let's see. So they've got an event. Uh, two events Saturday, one Friday, and one Thursday. Uh, let me see what tickets run um, for anybody else that's interested. Uh, general admission and older. 80 a piece. Ouch. Yeah. 30 for the DD. Yeah. Ouch. I'm sure I could sell them, though. I'm, I'm taking a risk, but I, I don't think I would have a problem selling them. I bet, I bet you could mark them up and sell them too yeah i could probably sell them for more um, an investment opportunity <laughs> <laughs> yeah well that's kind of like you know that's kind of like my football tickets you know what i'm saying yeah. i mean uh i i i mark those up <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? oh yeah people I mean, are willing to pay it you know why not i have to uh is there is there sound is everybody hearing this yeah everything's fine on my end yeah i don't yeah. i don't i'm just kind of curious what and, the but um, yeah, so that for anybody that was wanting to go, they go on sale tomorrow, um, and you've got those two events on Saturday. I would imagine Friday, Saturday, Sunday, probably the yeah. There's gonna the be bigger, all kinds of more, stuff going on. More crazy days. I I would think maybe Thursday would be 
probably the least of the four where you're yeah. going to be. But according to what Zach said, he said pretty much that whole week around GABF, like before and after, he says there's it's just so much stuff going on. Um, probably show up like on Monday the 1st or whatever I, and see. find beer dinners and stuff to go to. Now, uh, now just, just for, for, you know, for, uh, you know, yeah, that's, that's and, the other part is how do you actually get there and how much does it cost to stay? No, you know, the for, 16th street viaduct is a really comfortable place. So I could sleep under that. It wouldn't cost me anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's close by. I mean, it's right on the trail, so it's easy access. It's within yeah. walking distance. Let, let, let's see. We'll 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 do this part live. Whoa, live yeah. as well. Let's see. Uh, Thursday. And, and, yeah. Let me just pick the and whole and, we, and then come back on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Let's just pick the whole uh, weekend here. Yeah. Let's just see what happens. Uh, return day. Okay. One. Well, one you can all. afford probably. And. Uh, Let's see. Now, for me, hub to hub is usually 80. Look at $89 one way. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. It's probably be somewhere between uh, 150 and 300 round trip for me. Seems so like. I could, I could pick, uh, let's say yeah. ooh, $73. So if I flew out late. Yep. On Thursday. So this would be the absolute cheapest. So I'm, I'm going to check this out just, just for, you know, and then seventy nine on the return. Okay, so oh man, that's awful early. Okay, yeah. <laughs> after a weekend, right? <laughs> so you have uh, look at this uh, one hundred and fifty. Just to show the absolute cheapest fare, mm -hmm. 100, 96 from Phoenix. Yeah, from Phoenix. Now, now let me let me go back here. Uh, <laughs> It's on uh, Southwest, yeah. It, to do something more more reasonable as far as times, right? Yeah. Uh, so here's one at 12 noon, nonstop. Yeah. Uh, getting there at three. That's that's a more reasonable time, right? Uh, yeah. Actually, almost one of the top fares. So some more of a normal fare. So yeah, nine nine fifteen is a better uh, time to leave yeah. after a beer weekend. Yeah, so you got enough time to you're gonna stay up all night anyway, but you got enough time to take a shower. And then just get get uh, to the airport. So what is this? Eighty bucks more? Yeah, two hundred thirty-eight. Yeah, I mean, that's that's not nuts. That's I not crazy. Know. Yeah, in my mind, if I can if I can get anywhere within major cities in the lower forty-eight for under a few hundred bucks, I'm happy. Yeah. So that's yeah, but, either way, it's not bad. No. Uh, two thirty. Now let me see. Uh, <laughs> up, up, up. We might you're just not, be dreaming here, Joe. I mean, you're, you're not you're not worried about the car. You're worried more. Let me see price line. Let me look hotel. at price line. Got to do hotels, right? Yeah, because uh, you can take. Uh, they've got they've got light rail that drops you off in the middle of downtown. It goes right to the airport, so you can take light rail to the airport. Yeah, you're not you're not three bucks. You're not worried. Yeah, now the availability of hotels is is the yep. problem, right? So you're looking That's how far? Yeah, where do you want to stay? You're looking right. I would just uh, say we're just going. We're just going to stay at Zach's house, right? Isn't that, he doesn't that's know right. That, that's that's right. Yeah, we're, we're making arrangements to stay at his place. Uh, we we could sleep behind the bar at um, you know Chain Reaction. So here you go. Look at there. There is places <laughs> still available. Look, eighty six dot one room left. Uh huh. For eighty six a night. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just picked this one. That room's gone. <laughs> you can scratch that one off your calendar. Uh, let's see. You got the Hyatt. Um, Hyatt. I need. I need. Wh where's the place that serves the free beer? That's the uh, Embassy, isn't it? Embassy. Yeah, it it embassy. Embassy. Or is it Double Tree? Yeah, Double Tree does stuff. Yeah, they have an afternoon happy hour. One twenty-five. Yeah, one twenty-five. I like places that have lounges. <laughs> Yeah. That's my requirement for going out of town is you know, <laughs> because that way I can I can not even leave the hotel if I want, right? I can just get hammered. NBC Suites, here we go, 143. Okay. Southeast. Uh yeah. I would it's imagine in, we're getting kind of far. Denver Tech Center. Well, yeah, you could still, you could still get uh you could take light rail from the tech center up to downtown. Here's you the map view. Okay, so this mm -hmm. is what I want. This is what I want. So where are we at here? 
No, if you're in tech center, you're way the hell south of that. Where's the, it's the convention center, you said? Yeah. So all those, that little splotch in the middle there, Pepsi. Uh, Pepsi center, five points. Coors Field. I mean, that general area there. Like we're number, okay. what is that, number 13 or 16? Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, ballpark, five points. Lodo, Coors Field. Center. Yeah. Downtown Aquarium. Yeah, convention center is kind of in there. Art museum. How come they're not showing the, uh, you have. Uh, it's in there. Between, it's between the Pepsi Center and Coors Field, I think. It's in that area. Yeah, Metropolitan uh, State University. Yeah. So it's in here somewhere. So in other words, you got this hotel. Whoa! Look at that. There you yeah. Go. The Western. You ain't staying there, baby. I tell you what. Yeah, not staying there either. Uh, no. Three eighty-five. Uh, look at that. Four twenty. No. Mm. Hyatt. No. That ain't mm. gonna work. There's a travel lodge on the other side of the river that's pretty cheap. <laughs> <You're> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tw yeah, wow. So, yeah, that would be – that's the other part of this, right? That's yeah. The oh, yeah. No, the tickets are the cheapest part of the whole thing. It's getting there and staying there is the expensive part, unless you have family or friends or some somewhere you can crash. Or somebody that owns a bar. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> uh, or owns a uh, brewery, I mean, yeah. Well, you know, Doc does – and if he would let us sleep in the brewery, it's only like a half mile walk to light rail. And from there, we can get to downtown and to the airport. So oh, here we go. Look at that. Murata, uh, Murata, uh Midtown, 76. That's not bad. Yeah. You're right across. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a Spear. Is that Spear? Yep. Spear Boulevard. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. So, you know. It's, you know, you might, you, you might need to pack, you might need to pack when you go there, but yeah, you'll be, <laughs> the price will be low. <laughs> nine, that doesn't nine look too far. It, it, it doesn't look, <laughs> I mean, you could Uber it, right? Uber. Or it might not be that long of a walk. Well, it looks like no, a little bit of a walk, no, you, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be a mile. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try. I'm just going to, you know, and if I, if I get, if I'm lucky or stupid enough to get tickets, then I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll figure it out after that. So you'll, certainly, you'll certainly make your money back. Oh, yeah. No, I, it would be – worst case is I wouldn't lose anything. Right. Yeah. Because I'm sure Earth or uh, Head Coach or you know would, would happily buy, purchase those tickets. Yeah, right. I mean, that's – Oh, I, I could I, – yeah. I just have to – Post to the craft beer thing on Google Plus, and I would get, I would get more requests than than I knew what to do with. Here downtown, yeah. So now it's just checking downtown Denver because that's what we're talking about, right? We're mm -hmm. talking downtown. Oh yeah, no, there's places. Yeah, yeah. seventy five here, yeah. seventy five Radisson downtown. Free parking, free internet, a swimming pool. Uh, ninety seven. You got days. Bring your own bed bug spray. Is that what it says? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bring. <laughs> Yeah. As a matter of fact, if you don't bring your own bed bugs, <laughs> exterminator we'll not included, we'll supply them. We'll supply the bed bugs yeah. for you. Uh, free bed bugs. Yeah. Free. All you can eat. All you can. All you. Can all, you all you can scratch bed can bugs. Scratch bed bug. There's no extra charge for that. Here's that Ramada. Yeah. Free breakfast. That's a huge bonus right there. Um. Yeah. So yeah. there, there's a number of places. Comfort yeah. Inn. Yeah. Free breakfast. I, I like the free breakfast thing for some reason. Yeah, free breakfasts are always good. The and yeah, it, we'll see. You guys will be among the. You guys, will, you'll be the first to know if I get tickets. Oh, we got Tom. Tom will go. Tom will go. Yeah. I'm, where, I'm, where, where are we going? Uh, where, tickets where, where, for Great American Beer Fest go on sale tomorrow, so I'm I'm gonna go and try to buy them. And if I happen to get four, I've got to find some people to go to Denver. Well, you know I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, for Joe, sure. Joe's in. So. I'm a sucker. Why That's not? Tonight. You know, I, I freaking hate crowds like that. I swear <laughs> God, I do. I hate yeah, crowds. That's, that's like a bucket list thing, I guess. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That, I, and I, I say this right after I said I'm never paying more. I never paid more than 30 <laughs> bucks. Immediately. I'm about spending like 400 bucks to go to the Great American Beer Festival. Uh, immediately after saying I don't yeah. spend more. Yeah. I'm going to like multiply that by 10. <laughs> 
the the next words out of his mouth are um you know what i'm gonna buy tickets and then if i if we get to go right it, you know then i'm sure you know so yeah that's 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 that was the immediate response now that's okay yeah and so if you get tickets i'm down i'm down okay because I, I i can get a room Oh, yeah. um, we'll, we'll figure that out. So that I can get a room. Well, yeah. I'll let you know. I'm, 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 I've already set a reminder. I'm going to, I'm going to go on. I'm going to, I'm going to log on like at uh, 10, 10 minutes till quarter till. And I'm just going to start clicking. Now they're charging per session. So, yeah. So we would do, I don't know. Either Friday Saturday. Or Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. I know yeah. they do one in Boston. They do one in Boston. I know it's a session early midday and they do a late session also. So I don't know which one that would that, like you know because if you want to go late night, you want to be drunk like you know uh, they do. I think um, yeah they do Friday. They have two sessions: a twelve and a five thirty on Saturday. Uh, Thursday and Friday is just a five thirty session. So I would do the noon session on Saturday. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. See, That's the more I, I hear. For. The more I hear about these as far as timed sessions and the cost, it just it's more reasons adding up why I wouldn't have any interest in that. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's just more confirmation, right? They ring a yeah. bell at a certain time, you drink beer, they ring a bell and you stop. <laughs> yeah, you you know what? And and when you <laughs> when you see pictures from GABF, it, it, it even more confirms it, right? Yeah. Uh uh, just the, I mean, like, like, look, we'll, we'll, we'll all screen share some of these images here and that'll even more confirm yeah. it for you because it's that, that place is nuts. I mean, look at, look at, look at yeah. the crowds. Yeah. I have no interest in being a part of that. <laughs> I, I have said such in the past as well, but I think, I think, you know, if, if Mark comes through, then if I, I think, get lucky enough or lucky, I, maybe luck isn't if I'm, I am, um, Maybe not even fortunate if I am uh, dumb luck enough, dumb luck enough to get tickets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If Mark gets tickets, I'll, whoa, I'm going to meet her. <laughs> yeah. The whole that's, time. Bring, exactly. bring, I'm waiting bring, for bring you, Joe. That's, that's one. Do you, do you see the way she's looking at me right now? Do yeah, you see that? Like, yeah. Why aren't you here? She's, she's looking through that beer right at me. That's right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I yeah. seen that. I, yeah. Did she just wink? I did you see did. her wink at me? Yeah, I think she did. I mean, you All know, right. I, that was obvious. I mean, I, yeah, I, you know, I, I know what I saw. You know, I think everyone saw it too. <laughs> I I saw her lips move too, and they said, "Joe D." Joe D. <laughs> exactly right. I think we all saw the same. Yeah, thing. we did. Yeah, you know, what's going on? Uh, that, and it's on tape. It's on tape forever. Mm -hmm. We all saw her looking at me and winking. You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> we have we have uh oh we got drunken one in the chat now we've got um hey barrett uh, yeah that's sparky right yeah yep um all right Let, let's hurry up and get through this i want i want i want bum secret um yeah yeah we have we have to do bum last. okay so what do you got tom what are you drinking right now um i'm drinking uh clown shoes they're galactica clown shoes galactica okay, okay. The double IPA. Oh, okay. Right. I mean, it might just be the time that I'm drinking. I'm I'm not in the mood for a double IPA, but it's very robust. Very yeah. Good double IPA. Is it made with? Uh, is there an actual Galactica hops? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> no, I sure. think Galaxy I, hops. Almost, maybe maybe it's Galaxy it hops. Like, it almost seems like there's a hop shot in there. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, there's Galaxy Hops for sure. Uh, in in that beer. Um, so let's see. We we'll go to the screen share once again. And if you're gonna have a paywall, then uh, or an age wall in this case, then yeah, I am 21. Here we go. Uh, and yeah, uh, a hop yield uh, wielding heroin. What? Yeah, they always no. have stories. They make a so it's a it's a superhero beer check. Oh, okay, okay, not that kind of heroin. The the actual he, a hero <laughs> win, right? Uh, <laughs> Trolls in karate kick mode through the heavens, dry hopped with uh, galaxy hops and a clean malt background enhances 
the dark and luscious IPA flavors. Um, dark and luscious? That was that girl you just had on there. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, Sparky saw that part too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, I, she winked at me too, I swear. I've seen that, Joe. I've seen it, that, dude. <laughs> the advances these women make on you, I mean, it's insane, you know. <laughs> Dark and you, luscious, hell you, yeah. You get a little popularity and that's it. <laughs> right? I wish I had that problem, Joe. Yeah, 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 I wish I had to that problem as well, yeah. Let's be real about this. Um, now, on Untapped here, we've got 79, oh, practically 80,000 yes. ratings on here. Uh, wow. 663 in the last uh, 30 days. A 3.81, so that's a pretty solid one. Eight, eight uh, ABV, 86 IBUs. How it's hoppy is that fun. beer? It's, it's it's pretty freaking hoppy. This is only bottled the 14th, so it's pretty. It's still pretty fresh. It's very oh, fresh. Yeah. Okay, that's very fresh. That's yeah. It's what a few weeks, right? Yeah. Now, what's cool about what's cool about um, clown shoes is they don't have a brewery that you can go to. They contract everybody to brew their okay, beer. Yeah. So they have like uh, Buzzards Bay Brewing, probably like probably 35 minutes from me. I guess they, they make the wort and they send it to them mm. and they ferment it, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but they they have a couple breweries like that that does that around here. Mm. Which kind of confuses me. It's, it's, it's when you're, fer I feel like if I'd want to brew a beer, I'd want to ferment it also. If, if you're not watching the fermenting process, you can't really get the beer that you want. Maybe that's just me. You don't know if it's it's being held at the right temperatures and right, like right. Yeah. Now here here's a map of uh, of there's you know the states where you can get their beers. Arizona and California happen to be one of the states. Uh, mm -hmm. Georgia. Yeah, we get a fair amount of clowns. Too. Florida, Texas. Uh, they're kind of scattered throughout. Uh, mm -hmm. can't, can't get it in New Mexico or Colorado or uh, uh, Washington or, or Oregon. I see their stuff in Pennsylvania, but it's not. it doesn't seem to be widely available. Most mm -hmm. places that I go to don't have it. Yeah. yeah they, they put out special, like they have stuff that I can't get that they ship into other states. Like they like they'll make special beers for like Georgia, special beers for Florida that we can't get here. Yeah, and it's probably they probably brew and have brewers all over the place that do stuff, so they just do it local. Yeah, I'd imagine recipes yeah. to the local brew, contract brewers that they use. You, you can even get them in Hawaii, so that's uh, uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, well, thanks for sharing that one. I appreciate it, man. Uh, well, and Beric, what what's up, man? What do you have, my friend? I am drinking one of my standbys, a invasion mm. city. Oh, oh very nice. A milder version of their high life. Okay. So just what is it? Uh, just a little less hoppy. Yeah, it's a real. Okay. It's it's way more like a a session ID than it is a pale ale. Okay. All right. It's it's nice and happy. It's good. It's five percent alcohol. Five two five. Oh yeah, like that. yeah. that's a perfect summer beer there. Yeah. So that's a highly rated brewery. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one of the yeah. top. I'm only gonna stay out a little while, guys, because uh, I have company and my birthday is tomorrow, and I'm going fishing early tomorrow. So. Oh well, happy birthday. Oh. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. yeah, happy birthday to you, man. Yeah, did, did, yeah. What, is that family or? Oh, girlfriend. All right. Well, hey, you know, between, be, between us, you, you know what you get on your birthday, right? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, hi. It's hi, how you doing? Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, happy birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, everyone's happy on their birthday. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Barrett's like, 
It's only, it's only four hours and 25 minutes till my birthday. Right? Yep, yep. That was Trust me, I'm counting down. No. Hey. no I'm nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. There, there we go. go. Yeah, that a girl. <laughs> that that a girl. Right. Yeah. It, it... Blow out those uh, candles. Yeah, blow out the candle. <laughs> is exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. That ain't right. But that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, blow up the candle is exactly right. It, and fishing's a good analogy, my friend. That that works in many, many different ways. I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it above board right now. But yeah, that's, uh, I can go a lot of ways with that one. <laughs> mind your manners. Mind your manners. Yeah, yeah. There's anyway. We have the uh, cigar city here. Uh, it, here's here's the yeah, exactly right. Here's here's their paywall. You're only um, twenty four. Jeez. Yeah, not not a day over twenty four. Yeah. Um. Just and, just for some. Uh, Beltone finally took over and made me made me uh, the offer, and so oh, now I'm not straight yeah. commission anymore. Cool. I am base cool. plus salary, which is very very good. Uh, yep. Cool. Very nice. And uh, I'll take pictures of the fish we. And I catch tomorrow, and I'll post them. All right, sounds good. Take, have a great Barrick, you, Barrick, you take pictures of whatever you want to take pictures of, and you post them. <laughs> 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 there we go. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta not, not say anything here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, no, hey, congratulations, Barrick. I, that that's good, man. You had mentioned the uh, the promotion to us, the, or the yeah. possibility of it's it. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, so, yep. They walked right in and gave me. Here's your choices, and offered cool. me a really good uh, base mm -hmm. plus the salary, I, plus the commission I was really making already. So I'm just getting the base combined with it. So that's really good. Okay. Cool. Hey, Guaranteed hey, money is good that. money, man. That's good. Yeah, yep, that's exactly. Well that deserved is. too. Yeah. You enjoy your birthday. Absolutely, man. man. I'm gonna take off, guys. I just want to stop right. in and say hey. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, man. Cheers. Ha All right. Happy Have birthday, Barrick. Happy birthday, brother. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. Yep. yep. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, so we'll, we'll really quick check out that beer he was having uh, once again there. Um, Cigar City is just a, a brewery that I, I cannot get unless they do their um, uh, compilations. Uh, is that what you call them, right? Um, collaboration. Collaborations, yeah. Co yeah. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> the collaborations, yeah. Then I can get some of the collaborations, but not uh, not the other. So uh, it was an American Pale, um, five percent, thirty six IBUs. Here's their tasting notes down here. Uh, oh, I love the way they give all their ratings right here on their website too. Mm -hmm. So they're they're very yep. aware of all their ratings. Yep. And uh, well, well, let's see if they're accurate. Uh, three point seven five. What do they have? Three point seven six. Cheaters. Yep. Yeah, cheater. Cheater. <laughs> Gotta get cheater. That. Gotta get that social media guy back at work there. Come on. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. Check <laughs> that stuff. So ninety thousand ratings on here. Uh, sixteen hundred in the last thirty. Uh, three point seven five. Uh, bottle yeah, cap rating. Solid, solid beer. So. Nothing else much to say about that. Just you know, good, solid, uh, pale, you know. Hey, Sparky, what are you having, my friend? Oh, hell, I'm embarrassed to say it. I uh -oh. got this here. Got this here, America. America. Oh, he got oh. America. <laughs> Not the adjunct lager. <laughs> Just America. <laughs> yeah, we had that discussion in the in the pre-show. Uh, my local Kroger uh, affiliate. Uh, in the in the clearance aisle, which on the bottom shelf was selling uh, those cans of uh, well, it was Bud Light. It was Bud Light though, yeah, yeah. and uh, Coors, and um, a few others on there as well. Seventy five cents for those big cans. Wow, what, they uh, uh, went out of date or something, or I, you know, I didn't even. I didn't even bend down to pick one of them up to even look. <laughs> right? Bud but, is never out of date. 
Yeah, I don't fair. know that it goes. Does it go bad? Does it go? I mean, there's so much. Yeah. It right. it just has a it has a born on date, but no expiration date ever. Yeah, ever. Right. right. Yeah. It's like. Uh, well, I I recently heard that is it is it Elon Musk or is it uh, Jeff Bezos that's trying to cure uh, dying. <laughs> right they're like yeah. so one of them is trying to make a cure for dying, <laughs> for dying for last year. yeah they're like trying to yeah they, they, you, you've, you've got just crazy kinds of money when you think that you can cure dying right like uh, what? <laughs> what like you know that's that's crazy right but um, um yeah no i i i don't I didn't even bend to, to bend down to to pick one of them up, but I I kind of regret it. I should have bought at least you know. Yeah, a couple of them. Right, right. Just yeah. had, had lawn lawnmower beers or whatever. Yeah, I, I picked one up on actually picked two up on the on the ride home, and and uh, that's that's the other one. Uh, now I'll be back to the homebrew here after that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, because there is those days. I mean, I mean, everybody has them. You know, Mark's drinking a or was drinking a PBR. I mean, there's those days when you just, man, you just want a simple beer, you know? You yeah, just, exactly. Right, right. Yeah, it doesn't have know. to be thick or heavy or, or fancy or whatever, but yeah, it's just uh, pound this baby down. Well, I got to the store and they didn't have anything decent, and I mean, uh, just the Shiner Bach, and, and I mean, that's all right, but uh, it's, I don't necessarily care for that particular one from Shiner or, you know. Anyway, yeah, it was just a little something-something. It, it's uh, definitely better than uh, that Port Loco stuff. <laughs> 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 now the the Shiner's not a bad brew. I usually go to them too for certain stuff. You know, it, it's pretty good. I just don't care for the just that that basic one, the the Shiner Bach one. Right. I I don't care for that exact one. Um, but, but no, all in all, their beer is good. Uh, I, I like uh, Sam Adams. Uh, I'll drink the I'll drink the shit out of some Sam uh, Samuel Adams. Just and and I like pretty much everything they make. Everything they make, they're they're all pretty good. They're all pretty good. Yeah, they, they've had some real misses. Uh, Sam Adams has, but I give Sam Adams uh, a lot of credit for brewing a lot of stuff. They brew, mm -hmm. yeah, they do. so yeah, many they do. beers. I think I, that's why why they have so many misses is because they make so many different kinds. You're yeah, just the odd, right. the odds increase that you're gonna have more misses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. They're, yeah, they're yeah. putting out they're, so much stuff. I mean, there's just the, the, the odds are that. A few of them aren't going to be that good. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's the same it with uh, Dogfish Head too. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. they, they you know they, they put out so yeah. many so many beers that yeah they've they've had some big misses and hey they're they're the 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 baseball of beers right like mm -hmm. uh, you know the you know you 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 are gonna you know with every home run hitter you have a lot of strikes. <laughs> you know, yeah. A, a yeah. guy that strikes, especially these days, right, with, with baseball th these days, uh, you know, those those are the guys that have the huge strikeout numbers too, mm -hmm. um, uh, which is a whole nother discussion. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, we just recently had a, a, another uh, uh, 3,000 uh, hit guy, right? Um, oh, yeah, from Texas, right? Uh, Who? Yeah. Who did it? Baltrain or something. Oh, right? Carlos. Yeah. Carlos yeah. Beltran. He used to play for the Dodgers, and then oh, he went yeah. to. Uh, he's, he's long. He's been a. He's been in the majors for like twenty years, man. Yeah. He's been there a long time. Yeah. But it, yeah, three thousand hits does take a while. You don't get that in a few seasons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that typically, yeah, that's that's a long term thing. Yeah. So. I mean, if you're a if you're a three hundred hitter. That's three thousand hits is like basically ten thousand at bats to get three thousand hits if you're if you're hitting three hundred. I mean that's just yeah. I mean it's two hundred hits a year over fifteen straight years, which how many people can do that? Yeah, I mean yeah. that's yeah. I mean that's that's so, impressive. Yeah, yeah three thousand hits is a is a that's a hall of I mean, you do three thousand hits, you're a hall of famer. Yeah. Yeah, no, that and that's that's what he's, he's, unless he's, they uh, find like Dead children in your trunk or something like that, you know. I mean, you're, <laughs> well, he, 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 he did he did move the uh, the uh, uh, what do you call the warm up uh, where they warm up uh, you know before the uh, well, batting practice the circle 
Uh, oh, the on deck circle. On the, he did move the on deck circle and got kicked out recently. So there's mm -hmm. controversy with him. Oh, I bet. <clears throat> You know, Lock him. he's not going into the hall. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, right? Uh, there. He, he can sit out front yeah. and 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 uh, sign autographs like Pete Rose. I mean, hey, you just, Sparky, so are you are you a uh, uh, Texan? I mean, a, a, a Rangers fan or, or a baseball? Oh, I, I know. I don't watch much uh, sports. I sure oh. like to drink beer, though. <laughs> you, oh, you don't watch much sports at all? Okay. No, no, that's all good though. Wow, isn't that like communism in Texas? I thought. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, you think it would be. Uh. <laughs> I'm surprised you're allowed to live there. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> I mean, if you don't, if you don't yeah. utter the words "cowboys," how do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, that, that, I would think that. Yeah, because that goes hand in hand with beer and everything else down yeah, there. Yeah, really right? does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, beer, barbecue, and football. Like I said. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, plenty of barbecue. Oh my god, bring on the ribs. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, so uh bum, we we have stalled long enough. Now, this is the big moment here. We are waiting for Bum's um reveal. Drum roll, please. <laughs> This is in lieu of the malt liquor report tonight. This is a special uh, demonstration. This is great that Mark already had a Pabst. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, uh, the the uh, symbiosis or whatever the word is was perfect here that we're both drinking Pabst. So I bought this Pabst malt liquor, and my can has a different back than yours, Mark. It's music related, but it's different. Oh, than yours. oh, yes, I have the. Um... Is that the same festival? No, mine mine is uh, pbrmusic.com, and it says giving back to musicians in need, which is uh, probably most musicians. Yeah, probably yeah. most, yep. Yeah, and mine yeah. is uh, the PBR or whatever, which is their music festival that's going to be in Atlanta in the fall. So Yeah, so yeah. I, I, back. What's that, Tom? They're giving back. They're yep. giving back. So yeah. I bought this Pabst for the sole purpose of doing a special food pairing tonight and a demonstration. So if you're drinking Pabst, Mark, what what food do you think would pair the best with Pabst Blue Ribbon? When, when well, you have your I, I just bought, I bought a six pack of Pabst because I needed at least two cans of this for my mm -hmm. beer brats that I had for dinner. Okay. Yeah. So I would say brats is the perfect yeah. match. Brats or hot okay. dog. Okay, Outside yeah, of that, I would I would say like uh, I would say tempura. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Huh? So you so you mean to tell me when you think of Paps Blue Ribbon, you don't think of toast? It, uh, haven't you no. ever said <laughs> no? Haven't haven't you ever said when you're having a Paps Blue Ribbon, boy, could I go for some Paps toast right now? Uh no, no. Boy, I would love to be able to make some Paps toast. So. I am gonna make I'm gonna make some Paps toast here. So okay. what do you need to make Paps toast? You need a Paps blue ribbon toaster to make Paps toast. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'm gonna, a logo toaster. I'm gonna set this up here. Hopefully, nice. this'll, hopefully this will work, and hopefully I don't uh, electrocute myself in the process here. It's got three settings. It's got what is that? Yeah, it's got Cancel. frozen. Yeah, frozen, um, reheat, and something or other. So and cancel. cancel. Yeah. Cancel. yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some Pabst wheat toast here. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Oh, we yeah, and that's uh, even oh, more in the because you went uh, wheat. You went wheat. Yeah. <laughs> food. I, uh, one thing I'm gonna say: Food Network has nothing on share beer. Dude, yeah, I'm I'm we, we got uh, we got everything here. Everything. <laughs> beer and food pairings. This this bums, is all bums PBR here. toast. Yeah. We, we we occasionally break down baseball. We yeah. we break down. We talk about NFL oh, quite a bit. And you know I'm a mm -hmm. season ticket holder. Uh, we we talk GABF. Uh, we we talk we talk at all. We even go international sometimes. We talk uh, yeah. soccer and we laugh about it. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> We talk about Oreos. Yeah. Oreos, yeah. We break down Oreos. As a matter of fact, I just had coconut Oreos. I posted that on my Instagram. I, know. I have not seen those yet. I never saw uh, the uh, the Dunkin' Donuts I mocha either. Coconut Oreos. Yeah, just uh. had had the Dunkin' Donuts one. What was it? Week before last or so. 
just had the coconut thins, uh, which was really good actually. Uh, every that bag was crushed at work when I opened it. Um, I mean, it, all right. Good job of killing time here, Joe. Wow, this yeah, toast is, yeah. Uh, I yeah. want to know where did you get the toaster? So, where did the toaster yeah? Give us give from? us that worn down. What's that? The rundown on where you got it. Uh, where you got the toaster? Well, yeah. I became aware that the toaster existed from the same person that made me aware of Billy D. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. So I've just been scouring eBay for the last few months, okay, waiting yeah. for one to come along. Now, you're, oh wow, that's so there's this actually is, a market for PBR toasters. This is yeah. This is uh, let me see. Like beer for uh, breakfast. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's funny. A P a I, whatever, how I don't know. I mean, if they product placements, it's the official toast of Pabst Blue Ribbon. I mean, where does that? Come yeah, from? how does that work, right? I mean, how does I mean, like beer and football, beer and hot dogs, beer and baseball. But how does beer and toast? There we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's Here's like, the big it's like moment. Floyd, the marketing intern at Pabst. Okay, Pabst okay. Making some toasters. Ready? Quiet, kids. Quiet. Here we Ready? go. Ready for the big, the big reveal? reveal? Whoa! Oh, look at that. Sweet. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's awesome. What? And that's the blue ribbon. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> that's a, that's a, okay, Bum, this is a share of beer first. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think anybody has made any kind of toast on this show ever. Oh, no. And you know what? You know what? You know what, Bum? We did, Mark. We had that guy from Texas that would barbecue on the show. Yep. Mm -hmm. You remember him? Oh, he yeah. would barbecue in our face, the bastard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and never shared any of that barbecue. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I said it in my address. I don't know. Right? If we, we could show our beers and all that stuff, but you don't want that as much as you do some That's smoked awesome. meat. You know? That's awesome. Speaking of smoked mm. meat, uh, smoked meat, happy birthday, Barrett. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, There's that segue, but a bump, right? <laughs> hey, hey, Barrick, all the pun intended to you, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? oh. That's yeah. awesome, Bum. I, this, that's really cool. This, Pabst, this is the perfect, perfect food pairing. Oh, yep. my God. That is awesome, man. Now, you, you need, to, like you need to make another one and po do the picture on Untapped. Pabst toast with the mm. can. Yeah, I thought about doing that. Yeah, that'd be a perfect. That'd be a good check-in. Oh, that's we funny. That. Okay, here's here's all I can get from from Amazon because Amazon, of course, has. <laughs> You're looking for years now. <laughs> Amazon has everything, but they don't have a Pabst toaster. They, you can get a shirt. You can get an insulated beer tote cooler. Uh, you can get beer vinyl, beer vinyl, but not a Pabst to toaster. So did you like put a search on eBay for Pabst and toaster? Is yeah, that and I, yeah, and for the first time ever, I did a save search and okay. got no, notifications whenever there was one listed, and it took yeah, about yeah. Four, yeah. it took about four months for it to come up. Yeah, that's how, that's how. If I'm looking for something that's kind of weird, I'll just make a, a notification. Yeah. Search. <laughs> now here here's other people on. Now you go to Google, you are going to find it between Amazon and Google. I can find something. Yeah. There you go, right and, there. I see it yeah. already. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Someone has one on offer up in, in Norristown, Pennsylvania. That's, pretty, that's a eastern half of the state, yeah. Oh, there, there it is. is. 15 uh, bucks. Make an offer. Here we $15. go. Fifteen dollars. And, and oh also a pap pap Here's a glass in Norristown. That's, that's less than what I paid for mine, but uh, Okay. Yeah. And if you, if you look on Google there, there's also a Pabst, uh, panini maker that has that uh, puts PBR into the sandwich. There it oh, is. Oh, that's awesome. Right here. Yeah. Here we go. Right? Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Oh, look, that is kind of cool. Look at that. PBR. <laughs> Make a grilled cheese sandwich to have with your Pabst. There you go. And here's another one. Look at it. Look at this. What? <laughs> that's the that's Pabst a belt buckle. Right? Yeah. This looks like a belt buckle, doesn't it? Yeah. 
It is a belt buckle. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a it's a '70s Paps Blue Ribbon <coughs> belt buckle. What he says on here. Oh, that's so, awesome. Now, um, is there an Iron City toaster? That would be interesting. Now, what what kind of now what kind of what kind of uh, butter do you put on Paps toast? It, oh, it would have to I, be Wisconsin I, butter, I would think. I, I didn't put any butter on this because I didn't want the 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 grease of the butter. My stomach's already messed up enough from drinking this. <laughs> let alone let alone combining with some greasy uh, spreadable product. Now my my the dairy where I get all my milk from does sell different butters. So they'll have like uh, garlic butter, uh, garlic and some herb butter, um, and they have uh, cinnamon uh, butter. They have, butter. Di- they have different butters like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, of course, made from their heavy cream, and uh, and they mm. have butter making classes. So I think mm. I would pair their fresh butter, mm-hmm. uh, and their the butter they make is literally so fresh it's not salted. You know what I'm saying? Because they yep. make it right there. Um, you have to salt it yourself if you want salt. That would be kind of interesting. Um, okay. So I'm going from PBR to Sierra Nevada. Oh, I can see that. Yep. Yeah, sure. and I'm I'm going from PBR to Yeti. Ooh. Oh, that's an even oh. better one. Yeah, I that's can it. I can see how you make that. Yeah, that's yeah. Imperial yeah. style. Yeah, yeah, you go from an Imperial <laughs> from Paps to Imperial. And, and t- now, when you think Yeti, you think okay, what what would I have before I have this Yeti? PBR, um, from toast. Duh, PBR. This is what I did. And the toast. <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> yeah, immediately after having those, I wanna I wanna Yeti. Yeah, because that's that's what we do, right? That's hilarious. Yeah. That's, um, that's funny. Was that a special Yeti or just your Nope, it's just a regular old Yeti. In a can. Okay. That's funny. So yeah, you always want an imperial, not just a stout, but an imperial stout. Yeah. You know, oh. to to wash and down. That. Yeti is one of the best out there. I mean, exactly. that is. Uh... It, well, that kind of okay. So because out of the big beers, out of mm-hmm. macro beers, uh, you know, you it could be argued, Paps would be the better of. You know, or one of the better of the macros, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, right? I think it is. I, mean, I don't know that you would get a lot of argument over that. No, um, it's, a, it's a very good macro. Unless you're going to – now, you, you, some people might throw – well, uh, like Sparky said, Shiner in there. Some people might throw yeah, yeah. Yingling in there. I mean, that's kind of a regional sort of little argument. Yeah. But, you know, you can get – out of the ones that you can get anywhere, uh, you know, Paps would be – you know, mm-hmm. up there for so yeah, you can compare that. Uh, you know, I guess on that level, <laughs> I'm gonna I, have one of the better. Uh, my, yeah. Mine was certainly better than the can of Modelo that I had before. Oh, and I bet you the Yeti goes better with toast than Pabst. I don't mind yeah. Modelo though. You ever had Modelo? I, I would think so. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> that that's that's funny, man. I I. You know, I think I'm in the market for a new toaster too. Uh, <laughs> You're sending your fifteen dollars, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll warn you ahead of time. It doesn't seem like it's that well constructed. The outer shell is made of plastic. Um, okay. So it's more of a novelty item. It's not like I'm going to be making my everyday toast with this. Yeah, toast. it's not. Like, it's not like the normal family family toaster toaster. <laughs> oh my God! Look at this. You have. I found. Look what I found. No, no. PBR's good, but but now, yeah. PBR's here we go. Good, you, you have to check this out. Rainier beer. Rainier beer. Toaster. Oh. oh. Oh, cool. That's that's cool. <laughs> Boom! Top that right. Top uh, that. Is, are there are there any uh, pictures of Rainier toast? You know, uh, I wonder what the logo, what it puts on the toast. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Let's let's. I would think would do Rainier, but 
That's a lot to put on a piece of yeah, toast. Yeah, because because <laughs> that looks like it's tough enough to put on there. There's yeah. a big R. Oh, the big okay. There you the go. Big R. Just the yeah. R logo. Okay. okay. Yeah. The big R. So I want a ham's toaster. I want the bear on my. Oh, would piece that be cool? Yep, the ham's bear. Now remember those commercials in the '80s? Yeah, there it is. The Rainier beer ones. When yeah, the yeah, guys yeah. are running, they had the beer costumes on. No, the, I Rain don't. I don't think Rainier was sold in my area. So. Oh, okay, we saw it in Colorado, and it was yeah. Yeah, definitely a, bunch a West of guys Coast dressed beer. up in big big beer bottles running around. Yeah. Now, when when I go <clears throat> when I go to Texas and stay in the hotel, and you know you have the little breakfast that they serve in the hotel, they they typically will have. In the shape of Texas, the waffle maker. So you get the waffle oh, wow. in the shape of Texas. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, that's you know, and of course I love those waffles. You know what I'm saying? Those. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, that that hotel I stay at when I when I go see my daughter. Yeah, she they they have that uh, that Texas shaped waffle <laughs> maker deal. Right. So. Oh man, which is cool. I mean, it, it, it's very appropriate. You know what I'm saying? You're like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm in Texas, and they're, yeah. you know, they are a hotel, and okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's in the the spirit yeah. of things there, I guess. Yeah, this. Uh, wow, they're, they're showing some really old uh, beer cans here. Um, Martins. I've never heard hmm. of Martins yeah, beer. Don't don't know them. Make mine Martin's beer. Wow. That's uh there's some beer uh I, I you know I maybe bum do you know something about these kind of cans, these old cans right here? Look at this, man. This is uh Oh a cone top. That's oh yeah, those are the top. cone top cans. What are those from uh pre nineteen sixties? Yeah. From the fifties, forties, thirties. I had an iron I had an iron city cone top. Yeah. Here's one those, in really that's in good shape. Look at that. Those op those opened with a bottle opener, right, Mark? Yeah, yep. They did. Brewed by Yakima Valley. So this is Washington, yes. Yeah, this is Washington. Eastern Washington. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All uh, I can say is knowing some can collectors and having seen what's out there. I'm glad I never started actually collecting cans because there's, I mean, you could be overwhelmed. You could be drowning in cans. In oh, your there's so many. And and I actually know a few people who are almost literally drowning in cans in their yeah. house. I did, I did uh, can collecting um, for a few years and then I sold my can collection and bought a stereo. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I have and my I, box. Yeah, I got a, I got a, somebody paid me like 250 bucks for my can collection. This was like in 1979, yeah. 1980. I have so. my bo boxes of cans that you've seen me show the malt liquor cans over the last few weeks. My, mm -hmm. my maybe three or four dozen cans that I got when I was a kid. And then mm -hmm. since then I've uh, uh, sporadically bought the Iron City uh, Pirate Steelers and Penguins cans. Sporadically, not every mm -hmm. one. And some yep. of the Labatt's Penguins cans, and that's it. I'm not a can collector, but I do, <laughs> I do, I do have some. So, now, right. do you have any old frothing slosh cans? Bump? I do not have an old frothing slosh, but the place today where I bought the can of Pabst had one on display. Uh, that's uh, the one I wish I kept. Was the old frog yeah. because I had a few old frog and slosh, and that was yeah, those are you can still get those at a fairly cheap price. And there's a yeah. million, million varieties of those different colors. And... Oh, yeah, now you know what? Someone, and I'm not sure if I know them or not, or not from somewhere, but someone friended me a long time ago. I'm talking years ago on Flickr, and they have old beer cans. Um, Oh, okay. And 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 they they must collect them because they'll post new ones on Flickr and uh, oh, and, and some of them are very cool. Very cool. And and <clears throat> they I think it's the same person that sends me the, the occasional. Uh, I think it's that Davenport Lager uh, okay. from overseas. Uh, mm -hmm. From what was that? An eighties beer or something like that? I think that was in. The, 80s in the UK or something, but uh, mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, they're, they'll send that. Here's a here's a Silver Springs beer can. All this oh, from yeah. looking from that toaster. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, Black Forest. Oh, here beer. we go. I can buy 80 different Old Frothing Sloss Iron City cans for 30 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you. They're still they affordable. The power of Old Frothing Sloss. <laughs> 80 you know, cans with fat chicks on the, on the, uh, yep. what, what oh, other yeah. pale, pale ale with the foam on the bottom. That was yeah. their slogan. Real, real quick before we go out here, we'll do, we'll do a, a quick rant and rave to after this, but, uh, what, uh, what other kind of weird, unusual beer stuff can any of you think of that you can buy? You know, I mean, a beer toaster is a little different, wouldn't you think? So what, mm -hmm. in that spirit, what what else would there be that you've seen or? Oh, man. Back in the day, I'm, I'm just trying to think of like Iron City because, I mean, I was a local brewery growing up. I mean, for me and Bum, and it was, yeah. they, they had stuff on everything. They had yeah, no logos it's, on everything. It's endless. I think, I think breweries more than any other any other uh, organization probably advertise on the widest variety of promotional items. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. More than any other industry. Especially before, like whenever, whenever they kind of cracked down on it a little bit, you know, in the late seventies, early eighties, you know, with beer, you know, beer and cigarette type stuff. Oh, yeah, that's a, it, it's kind of you know it made me it made me think like you know down those lines, mm -hmm. like what other kind of weird little quirky beer, uh, you know sort of, I'm like a toaster. Wow, I didn't realize there were. Yeah, yeah beer. I I would have had no idea until I was informed about this, and I'm not sure how old this is. Is there Just like I'm not sure how old Billy D is? Maybe 10, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Is is there uh? coffee maker i wonder if it would be like what in the hell would beer have to do with making coffee right yeah yeah um i'm, I'm sure there are like barbecue you know like grills oh yeah um, well that makes sense there yeah probably TVs. i mean there's probably even tvs that have the the uh the logo on it you know you're in a like the steelers i'm sure there's probably a steelers iron city beer tv somewhere oh yeah, I'm I'm sure. let me I'm see sure. yeah, beer <laughs> I mean, that would be a perfect pairing. Sure. Or penguins, Iron City penguins TV, yeah, that type of thing. Um, Here's a beer. This a TV beer mug, and it's it's like got a tilt in it. I don't know why that would have a. Here, when I when I search for beer TV, this is what I get, and it has this little angle. Why? That way, when you're drinking out of it, you can still see the TV. Is that is that what it is? I don't, I don't know. know. I made that up. <laughs> I don't know why it would. That's have... very possible. You yeah, know, right? It's not a rounded glass. You're you hold up your mug, you can still see the TV. Yeah, because yeah. it's it's a beer. Good. It's good theory, Sparky. <laughs> well, I'm just guessing here. I'm trying to think outside the box. <laughs> oh my God! Look at that! <laughs> look at that! You've got a, a holder for your beer <laughs> on the joke. can. Oh, so when you're holding it up, you can still see out of the other side. And look at this! Uh, this is yeah. awesome too. A wine glass that attaches to the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But but that toilet paper holder that's holding the Miller Light can—that's not a Miller Light branded holder, though, is it? That no. those are just yeah. You're looking yeah, for yeah. things with the with the brewery's name on it, right? It comes yeah. different, so you can yeah. hold your wine glass or your beer can. <laughs> How uh, awesome is that? I thought I was an alcoholic. Holy crap! Dude, that is bad, <laughs> right? And then put the toilet paper backward. So this is this is an actual <laughs> product. You can buy this for twenty bucks. Look at that. His and hers toilet paper holder for beverages. Nice. <laughs> there it is, three D printed. So people are doing all kinds of things with their three well, D printers, I, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see a, a coffee cup in there, maybe. You know, all right. You're sitting there 
doing your thing and get a coffee cup in there, you know? You know, I mean, you know. <laughs> right? I, I can kind of see that as for a beer. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That's it was a schlitz. 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 All right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a stretch there, but hey, oh, it no, works. It works. Like, right. I it stood works. up really like watching these uh, do these hangouts <laughs> last night. I got with the uh, malt liquor guys last night. The the scum crew or whatever they call themselves, whatever it is, everything is scum is like a universal word for all kinds of stuff. And we ended up staying at like too late, and you know, I missed my job appointment this morning, and uh, uh, showed up late, and I felt like shit. I, I didn't wake up hungover. I woke up drunk, and so that wasn't. Oh good. wow! Yeah, those kind of days. Oh boy, I'm just now getting uh, sober back up and. Uh, <laughs> 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 and drink it again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the best thing for a hangover uh, is another uh, beer, I, right? I, I could have used one of those uh, uh, toilet paper roll things this morning. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Hey, that's funny. Hey, hey, Mark, do you have a quick rant and a uh, quick rant and rave for us? Um, this is a, from a couple weeks ago. My my rant is on garage door openers. Ah, oh. and I just it fine ours ours finally broke, and being the complete mechanically inept person that I am, I had to uh, <laughs> call in a professional to uh, to fix it, and uh, it works perfect now. It works a hell of a lot better than it ever did before. So. <laughs> That's good, but yeah, it's uh, it cut into my beer budget. Let's just say getting the. Getting yeah, the that's, no that's why you were drinking Paps, Paps tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Paps and Coors. That's right. Yep. Oh, that's Garage door openers are one of those tricky things. I don't even I don't even try it. I just no. I go by the opener and I call a guy. Right. Yeah. 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 I know. I mean, we we've been in this house for almost eleven years, and the opener was here long before we we bought the house. So. The guy's like, yeah, this thing's 15 years old. You're you're lucky it lasted as long as it did. Yeah. So I can't complain. Yeah, the, the, I just I let them do their thing. Garage doors openers are uh, you know tricky for for you know just your average dude mm -hmm. to install. It's like tricky, and those guys come in less than it's what feels like an hour. They've got it oh, all yeah. running I mean, and I, everything. I, I mean, it wasn't, and um, I I was still able to open the door, but. You know, I called the guy one afternoon. He showed up the next morning, got everything fixed. It works perfect. So yeah, it's, it's a rant and a rave. Yeah, it's it's so worth it just to, you know, it's one of those things where you hate to pay them, but at the same time you're like, you know what, screw it. You know, yeah. I'm I'm you you do it and you're done for at least ten years. So yeah, you yeah, know. I I, sh I should be good for a long time for that. So. And, and you get the warranty if it craps out later on, a month or two later or whatever, and it, and it yeah, doesn't work, exactly. so you can call them back. Whereas so if I did it myself, I'm, I guarantee it would break next week. Now, so. now <laughs> did, you, did you go the same route I did? I, and I have one of those, of course, you know, smart garage door openers. So it, it, you know. I guess our garage door opener can connect to my phone, but I'm not willing to give the internet control of my garage door yet. I mean, <laughs> oh. I, I just not. No. Good point. no. Yeah, good point. You don't want you don't want your echo to open your garage door opener? No. Alexa, <laughs> open the door or close yeah. the door. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I guess it'll do it, but I'm 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 just not there yet. You know, I mean some things the internet should not control. I'm I'm that kind of garage idiot. door and my yeah. toilet are two of those things. <laughs> I Yeah, the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want a smart toilet. You know, close the seat. <laughs> Shut the seat. <laughs> I did. I did. You know, on on speaking of toilets, I did hear the latest on toilets is a yeah, lot of people. Of toilets. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, uh, PBR. Now is PBR that is, is that time. that's the PBR? You know, being recycled, repurposed. <laughs> you know, that's what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I've I've heard the latest in in people getting new toilets is a wall hung toilets so that you have a cleaner look uh and stuff and, and there's they're getting so popular now the price has been coming down on wall hung toilets. So what um, happens so does it turn like come out of the wall when you go in? No, it's just it it, it it's literally hanging on the wall. So oh, okay. there's there's like no directly on the wall instead of out. Instead of on the floor. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, and it does give a much cleaner look um uh yeah. you know i i uh i've been getting into certain stupid things because of the 
design of my home, and so uh, I'm just it would I'm, kind. I'm, if I replace my toilets, I'm going with bidets all all through the house. I'm all bidet, with, yeah, all bidet yeah. all day long. Yeah, yeah, they, you just yeah, a little uh, yeah. Clean it out. Spritz. Yeah, that'll mm. kind of oh, in the morning, kind of wow. Wake yeah, up. I'm, up. I'm awake. Okay, yeah, that's that's more so than even in your face, right? That's kind mm. of wrong. <laughs> splash water on your face, and but they splash it on the good side there, and you're like, what? Okay, I'm awake, man. Wow! Yeah, I'm up. <laughs> I'm up. Yeah, that's uh, you know. So, do you have a, a rant or a ray for a Sparky? I don't. No, I'm, I'm good this time. Okay, Ed. I'm, I'm looking for the Walmart toilets now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've heard you can get a decent Walmart on the toilet for about five hundred dollars, and um, the install though is going to be a different game because it is, uh, you know, people. Yeah, five hundred for the toilet. It had to be replumbed. Yeah, you had to be. It had to be replumbed for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Here's here's one. Uh, uh, three ninety. Uh, three ninety seven. Three yeah. seventy nine. Excuse me. Uh, and uh, and there, there. Uh, if you're into, if you're one of those, one of those guys, and I'm kind of that person too. Like I want to be able to flush a soccer ball down my damn toilet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I want High capacity. Everything. Everything's is supposed to go down to get down yeah. there, right? And uh, yeah, they're they're really high impact type of toilets, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah they they really well, these, these really don't even have a like a water closet. They don't have a a, a tank on the back. I mean, some yeah. of them do, some don't. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I mean, where's uh, that, that clock, water closet's got to be somewhere? It's gotta yeah, be in the wall, I guess, or what? Yeah, it's in the wall. Yeah. Oh, so mm. the, it's, it's yeah, that's different. <laughs> they, they are. They're very different. Um, and very efficient though. Um, Industrial strength. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, right? Uh, balls. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> that's great. So, Bum, what do you have for us? A rant or a rave? I have a rave. Uh, first of all, I'm on vacation right now. Hallelujah. Awesome. And I took an extra day off. So next week's show, I will still be on vacation the next day. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So my main rave is in the last two and a half weeks, I have gotten to see and will see as of tomorrow two of my favorite bands. Two weeks ago, I went to see uh, Mark. Are you hip to NRBQ, New Rhythm and Blues Quartet? I've heard of them. I haven't seen them though. Yeah, uh, Mark. I'll I'll post some stuff on my Google Plus page. Okay. They are they are celebrating almost their fiftieth anniversary. They they're they're best known for being unknown. That's their claim to fame. The okay. best oh. the the world's greatest band you've never heard of. Oh, <laughs> and, and, I'll, and, and I'll leave it at that. And tomorrow night, I'm going to see Bela Fleck and the Flecktones. If you know, oh, Bela, cool. If you know Bela Fleck, the band oh, yeah, master. I've got, I've got, uh, yeah, three of his albums from yeah. the late. Yep. Yeah, and the Flecktones are to back together for the first time in about five years, and they're starting a small tour. And the first night of the tour is tomorrow night in Pittsburgh. So, Ooh. I'll I'll be going to that. If I'll, anybody's I'll into the Flecktones, yeah. The best Great. way to, he's like the yeah. electric banjo player. It's yeah. awesome. And joined by the Wooten brothers, uh, Victor Wooten and Future Man Wooten. Victor Wooten, one of the greatest electric bass players ever, and Future Man, who I don't even know if I can describe him. He plays a a manually operated drum machine called the Syntax Drumatar, and also Howard Levy on piano and harmonica simultaneously sometimes and they're one of they're one of the most unique bands out there they play the the best way to describe them is bluegrass jazz funk is the yep. best way if you can imagine that, such a combination that's yeah. uh, Bella Fleck Tones is an awesome band too one I mean, of it's... one of my favorite bands of all time this will be the fifth or sixth time I've seen them over 20 years oh cool very cool yeah so that is cool. awesome. So that's my rave, my musical rave. All right. I've got a little bit of a <clears throat> a rave and a rant, I guess. I don't know if it's a rant, but a little bit of both. Uh my my rave is on Bum's new camera. Look at that. We're seeing Bum in HD right now. Yeah. For oh. for for better or for worse. Yeah, now the Bum actually has the HD symbol now next to his uh on his uh 
uh, video. So Bill, Billy D in HD too. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, we've got Billy D in HD. No offense, but he is much better looking. Boom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue with you. He's, he's Billy D. You know. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah. It, and it might. Yeah, I don't know if it's a rant per se, but it, it is. It, I guess in a, a way, it is. It's more of just a statement, really. But just a reminder, it you know, for people, if you have a late model car, the worst thing ever invented was these daytime running lights because people are leaving them on at night. You know, you don't realize that you can see you're getting a little bit of your dash illuminated, so you think that your lights are on at night and they're not. And it's it can make for some dangerous situations. So just make sure your lights are on. I drive all night, so um, you you want to darn sure make sure I can see you because I can smash you. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, right. please, 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 you can't yep. rely on the auto setting on your vehicle. Um, a lot of these late model cars, I know we get in the habit of just letting the vehicle turn on our lights, but um, they don't always work. Mm -hmm. Trust me, because I see what feels like one of these every night of yep. someone driving and, uh, um, and, and they don't have their lights on. You know, the, your tail lights are something that you won't typically see, you know, un unless you know what to look for. If you, you can see a glow in the mirror, in the maybe. mirror as you're driving, if it's dark enough in the city. But, um, if you're out in the country driving, then yeah, you could, you could see the glow in your mirror, but, um, it, it's tough to see in the city in certain situations and, uh, but please make sure those lights are on so so that you're yeah. being at least that safe while you're texting on your phone. I, 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 <laughs> the, uh, the best uh, the best driving tips all us car drivers can get is from professional truck drivers like Joe D. Because yeah. I mean, literally, you drive more in a week than I will drive in two months. So, and you know what's going on. So, yeah. And you don't want Joe running up your butt. I yeah, mean, that's no. not a good thing. No, uh, it's not. Eight yeah, thousand that's pounds. Just a bad mouth picture, even. <laughs> not a good thing. Right. Yeah. And see, like right now, you know, I'm I'm a little bit of a moon phase guy, and because I I do drive at night, so I pay attention to the moon phase. And for me, it's just a matter of am I going to be on the darker side of the moon for the next week or so, or the lighter side, which definitely helps your vision. So right mm -hmm. now we're we're definitely in Arizona in the lighter side, and so that definitely helps with being able to see people like that. But when we're on the darker side, and that's usually like a week to ten day period, when it's mm -hmm. going to be really dark when you're out there, you know, in 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 my case the desert, you know, in the middle of the desert, mm -hmm. uh, you want to make sure that someone like myself can see you. Now I'm I'm kind of trained for those sort of things. I kind of have trained my eye over the years, but I mean. You know, what if you're just getting your average Joe Blow on a, on a little weekend trip and he can't see you and next thing you know, smash. So uh, make sure those lights are on, man. You know, even even if you're in the city, there are certain streets that are darker. They're not quite as lit with all a lot of cities very aware of light pollution these days. Um, you know, not, a lot of streets aren't lit as like they used to be. So just 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 a word of caution, please make sure those lights are on. And with that, man, we'll leave you. This is a long show. So uh, thanks, Sparky, Mark, Tom Barrett. was in here earlier. We had Earth, yeah. Alan, Barrett. Barrett. Yeah, Barrick was in Happy here. Happy birthday, Barrick. Happy yeah. birthday, man. Hey, we got to go low on that one. Happy birthday. Man. You got to go low. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the smoke meat to you, my friends. And uh, happy, you know, getting that uh, uh, fish. Birthday oh. treat. Hope the fish yeah, gets yeah. that worm. <laughs> me, yeah. uh, you know, so. Hope those hey, fish are biting. Yeah, hope those fish yeah. are biting, man. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so. mm. Hey, yeah. thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, great show, guys. We'll see you uh, next Tuesday. Don't forget, there's also a show on Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern. So if any of those, you know, and hopefully one of those time slots will fit you, man. We'll see you, man. Peace out. Right. See ya. Yeah.